everyone. Uh, my name is Iqbal Khan, uh, and we are Box Clever Theatre Company. Uh, we're a theatre company that does uh, classical plays and new plays for uh, young people. Uh, I'm a theatre director, and I've directed a couple of versions of the play that we're going to look at now, which is our version of The Merchant of Venice. Uh, and I'm joined by my last, uh, the actor who, who played this last, uh, Lloyd Thomas. Lloyd, do you want to just introduce yourself? Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Lloyd Thomas. And um, yeah, I was in a production of this version of The Merchant of Venice. I think it was about two years ago now. And I, I've, I've done it several times before. So yeah, this is a play that both uh, Iqbal and myself have worked on together absolutely absolutely and let's do it again let's yeah. do it again yeah. uh, now now Lloyd maybe we <laughs> should be be clear about um what our version of the play is because it's not exactly the merchant Shakespeare's the merchant of Venice so, so yeah. shall we just say a little bit about uh what Michael Herrick who's the artistic director and the and the writer of this adaptation um what his particular kind of framing of this story mm -hmm. is so, so, so who's telling the story? So the the story is so yeah it it is a um, narrated sort of version of the Merchant of Venice with a storyteller who is retelling the story of the Merchant of Venice, but is also using it to connect with his own personal story um, to do with his grandfather who was uh, Jewish and was taken to a concentration camp during the war and it's it's making the connections between what happens in the merchant and what happens to the storyteller's grandfather and and then his own personal situations with his his girlfriend and the the loss that he has had with his relationship okay that's brilliant and, and i think what, what i i think what i found very effective about it when we worked on it was mm -hmm. that we weren't just telling an old story uh, because yeah, yeah. He, he he comes on carrying a suitcase and he unpacks things in the suitcase, and because he's telling us and trying to make sense of his own history, mm -hmm. as, as well as trying to make sense of his present life and his as you say his relationship with his girlfriend, through the telling of Merchant of Venice, we're engaging with why that story, a story which is ultimately about a kind of exclusion of a certain kind of person, of kind of anti-Semitism that, 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 that's very disturbing in that play. And, and it deals with the world, the society, Christian society, mm -hmm. that, that, that alienates this, this man and his kind. Uh, but it is, a, it is an old story. And, and our version of it, I thought, <clears throat> helped a 21st century person identify what was so important about that story now to our lives as we try and make sense of our lives now. And, and like you say, it's, it's an old story, but it's a story that sadly uh, has been repeated several times throughout history. So we have, we have the original text, The Merchant of Venice, which was written about things that were happening at the time and that had happened previously. And then we've got the story of the 1940s and, and the Second World War and the things that were then repeated then and things that are, are still happening to this day. I, and, 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 and really uncomfortably so now yes. at, at, at the moment. And it's, and it's not just about anti-Semitism, although that in itself <laughs> is, an, is an enormous story to tell. And it's not a story that's, you know, uh, uh, what is it now? Eighty years old, seventy years old, i.e., post Second World World War. It it's not four hundred years old, i.e., post Merchant of Venice, but it's it's perhaps over a thousand years old. Mm. Uh, the, the, the the sort of uh, the exclusion of, of of the of the Jewish race, as it were. Uh, but but also the play deals with hate speech more generally, mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. and the way and how easy it is to sort of whip up a kind of aggression and uh, uh and an othering of a certain kind of people mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and to separate well yeah anybody that's that's perceived as being different perceived as being other from i don't know the community that is most dominant in a particular society yeah yeah and and, and also what was what was lovely about i suppose what's lovely about theater is is that i mean we could have told this story with um, uh, an obviously Jewish actor uh, 
mm-hmm. and, and sort of, sort of said the identity of the actor is 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 important in the sense that it's realistically conveying the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what what theatre I think allows us to do, and and I suppose things like Hamilton are an example of this, the musical, mm-hmm. it, 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 is that is that anyone can tell the big story as it were, because if the story is significant, it's not just about the specifics of, of the specific abuse that's going on, but it's it's, it's about the, the things that humans can do to other humans. Absolutely, and, and there's things, being a mixed race actor with a, a father from Trinidad, there are certainly lines within the text that when I say them, I'm thinking, wow, this is, it, you know, I could be talking about my, my uh, ancestry, you know, the people. Yeah were brought to the Caribbean as slaves. You know, they're, they're so, it can relate to so many different people. Yeah, and I think that's what's wonderful about, about um, theatre generally, is that it can, it can communicate the specific story and the specific history, but it can also, and it should also make us all think that actually um, we're, we're all potentially in the grip of those sorts of things, those sort of human uh, holocausts or genocides that, 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 are, that have happened throughout history and continue to happen mm-hmm. uh, and that we need to be wary of of these sorts of tropes of hate speech etc uh, yeah. and I think I think Michael's play deals with this head on I think um, it, it, it also deals with the idea of um, revenge as well yeah. you know, we've been shown a lot of examples throughout history that vengeance is not it, it doesn't achieve what the person seeking it hopes to achieve and that there's a lot in this play that is about forgiveness as well being able to move on is being able to have forgiveness because yeah revenge doesn't really get you the the, no. the peace that that you want it to bring exactly and, I, and actually i think one of the central things in the in in the piece uh, both in Shakespeare's piece and in, in Michael's version of it, is is this idea of justice? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so if somebody has been outraged in some way by someone, abused by someone, mm-hmm. h- how does one? Because revenge is often a, 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 the the instinct to right the wrong, to mm-hmm. find a kind of justice. And and are there other ways of doing that beyond the eye for the eye, an eye for an eye? kind of narrative is 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 there as you say a kind of a grace and a redemption that can be found through being able to move through it rather than to destroy the person that oppressed you yeah yeah um so okay brilliant that, that, so so that's the sort of context of, of of the piece um now we're gonna pick up and look at a certain section in in, in our version of, of the story uh so lloyd where are we in this section here now uh, or, yeah, uh, <clears throat> so the bit that we're specifically looking at is um, a piece in The Merchant where Shylock uh, has discovered that his daughter has absconded with uh, a Christian and she's she's taken everything, taken the uh, jewels and and um, and herself and and disappeared and he comes back to this this house to find everything gone. Okay, uh, tremendous. So Sherlock is a is a Jew. He's a money lender in in Venice at the time. Um, it's a Christian context, uh, and he suffers a lot of abuse at the hands of Christians in that community. Uh, but because he lends money, they need him. And at the beginning of the play. Uh, we have a young man called Bassanio who's fallen in love with a, with a woman called a young woman called Portia, uh, uh, who lives in a in the castle. What's the name of the castle again? Belmont. Belmont Castle, glor- glorious fairy tale castle, uh, and and she can her, her father's passed away, and in his in his will, he he said that only those people who kind of solved a riddle would be allowed to marry her so so she has princes coming to her all the time trying to solve the riddle of the caskets uh, and if they find the casket with her, her image in it they can then take her hand and uh bassanio young eager bassanio is is desperate to go and to have the money to go and to to take this trial and to hopefully win portia now his best friend is actually the merchant of Venice. He has loads of money, but all his money at the moment is is on on the seas uh, and trade. 
Uh, and so he can't give him actual cash at the beginning of the play. But because he's a very good friend, he says, listen, I'll, I'll take a loan for you. And when my ships come back in again, uh, I, you can, I'll, I'll have the money and you can pay me back. It's all fine. It's not a problem. Uh, and so then he goes to this, this person that he detests, the Jew, Shylock, um, and, and he asks for a loan. Uh, Shylock's surprised, I think takes a little bit of delight in the fact that, that Antonio suddenly has come to him, who's abused him many, many times in the past, has come to him and is now asking him for a favour, for a, for a loan. Um, and it, I think in a spirit of jest, sort of says, um, you can have it and I'm not going to charge you interest. The only thing that, that, that I'll say is if you don't pay back on time, I want, what, a pound of your flesh to be taken from whatever part of your body I choose. Now, he sets that up, I think, Lloyd, am I right here? Mm -hmm. I think he sets it up almost sort of, he's to toying with him, teasing him, enjoying the game that he has here. Yeah, and enjoying um, some some power, in a in, some power over a very powerful person. Exactly. In, in a society where he is the downtrodden and, and the, the abused and the cast aside. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so that's the bond. The bond is, uh, if he doesn't pay back, if Antonio doesn't pay back, uh, Shylock can take one pound of his flesh from whatever part of his body pleases him. Uh, now, so Bassanio can now go off to Belmont and try and win the hand of Portia. Uh, now, Shylock's daughter is the Jessica that Lloyd was talking about earlier on. Uh, now, she's somebody who I think has felt oppressed I mean, you get a sense from the way Shakespeare sets it up that, that Shylock has really controlled her life. He's, a, he's afraid of the experiences she might have. Mm -hmm. He's very protective of their tra tra traditions. Um, and there's this young man, L L Lorenzo, that's been secretly com coming and kind of wooing her. And then with the help of, of a servant, um, she is she abducts, she absconds with um, Lorenzo who, as, as Lloyd was saying, is a Christian. Um, and not only that, she, she takes most of the, uh, much of the money that, 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 he, that he has, trinkets she takes with, with, him, with her, um, and various other things that Lloyd will unpack, I think, in this, in this piece here. Uh, now, remember, when we're looking at this, when we're listening to this scene, this is, this is some, somebody, this is this young man who's telling the story of Shylock. Uh, and, and this particular episode. Uh, but he's also trying to make sense of himself all the way through it. Uh, as Lloyd was saying earlier on, his grandfather uh, died in a concentration camp. Um, uh, he was Jewish um, in fascist Italy. Uh, and he, he has also, he's trying to make sense of his own relationship with a girlfriend who's now an ex-girlfriend and there was a rupture there and, and he's trying to make sense of all of these things in his own identity and uh, what is his relationship to that history and and um, what 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 means most to him now mm -hmm. okay Lloyd so I think mm -hmm. that's that's quite a lot of preamble but, but yeah yeah shall we now uh, just just read this bit and then we'll start yeah back. yeah thank you so from forget the Jewish bit yeah. Yeah. Forget the Jewish bit for a minute and think about it. There's Shylock, right, Mr. Popular, who's been tricked into leaving his daughter alone in his house. He comes home to find his only child gone. Now forget the Jewish bit, right, and think of Shylock not as a Jew, but as a parent. OK, he grounded her for her own safety. And maybe maybe he was too strict but she is his only daughter and child, and she's gone and she's left him behind, her religion behind, even given her rings to her new man. I mean, it's not just that the rings are really expensive. I mean, they are. They're not your Argos. But it's more that they mean something, you know. They mean a lot. And I don't know what's happened to his wife, but picture it. He comes home. There's no wife, no daughter, no servant. They're all gone. I mean, you're not going to be happy to lose your child, to, to be rejected. He has been rejected and he has lost the most precious thing to him. 
I forget the Jewish bit. You can understand. You might know already what it's like to be rejected or, or chucked when someone you really like says, nice knowing you, but I found someone nicer. It hurts. And you feel angry and hurt and, and scared and lonely. And you go for a walk and you, and you start to walk quicker and you see people around you who aren't hurting and you can't hear them. All you can hear is the beating of your own heart and th that slight feeling of sickness. And, and you want to say, please don't leave me. But she's already made up your mind. And you say, but I've made a home for us. And she says, yeah, I know. And you say, yeah, I am jealous. I, I don't want you seeing him because you might fall in love and leave me. And I don't want to be left alone. And you start repeating her name again and again and again. And you're upset. And you know it's like normal to get upset when your girlfriend leaves you for another guy. And you get angry and you look around and, and people are laughing. My daughter! Oh, my nuggets! Oh, my daughter! Played with a Christian! Oh, my Christian nuggets! Justice! The law! My nuggets and my daughter! All the Venice boys follow him, crying his stones, his daughter and his ducats. All the Venice boys are mocking him. There he is. There's old hook nose. His daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin flint. Look at him now. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew in Venice 1942. All the windows smashed in my granddad's shop. That's all he was, my grandfather, a shopkeeper. All the windows smashed. And there was a crowd, a mob. And they watched like the Venice boys watched Shylock, distraught and alone. Like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the pieces of glass as they watched. Like you're watching me now. Well, let him look to his bond. Let him look to his bond. He hath disgraced me and laughed at my losses. And what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not have revenge? An eye for an eye and all that. Okay, Lloyd, thank you. Thank you so much. That, that was extraordinary uh, and very, very clear. So, so there's a massive story there that we're telling. Mm -hmm. um, and the first bit of that story is to do with uh, betrayal, isn't it? Or, or the, the sense of being, what's the word that, 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 that he uses, the boy uses about the girlfriend, about being... Rejected, chucked. Rejected, Reject. no, rejected, yes. that's right. Yeah. So, so, so the rejection that mm -hmm. he feels because of his daughter is a similar thing. I mean, it's not, not, it's not the same, but it's similar yeah. to the rejection and the betrayal that the Jew's feeling. And then I think that's what's pumping him up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that, that sense mm -hmm. of being mocked by the world and walking and his heartbeat racing mm -hmm. as, as he feels more and more kind of uh, oppressed by people's gazes. Yes. Um, yeah. um, so, and he's identifying with the emotional state of the father, the, the Jewish father. Uh, and, and the big point he's making at the beginning is, is that this goes beyond being a Jew. This is a human thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so he wants us, the audience, to connect with it, not because 
it's a peculiarly Jewish thing, but because this is a human thing. Yeah. He, he's also very careful, isn't he, to sort of say in that initial sex section that, I mean, he has been slightly oppressive, the dad. Yes. Uh, yeah. that, 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 go on, sorry. Well, I was just going to say, which again, I mean, you could take or you could not that the storyteller has perhaps been slightly oppressive with his girlfriend as well. Right. And, it, and it all comes out of a place of care and love. Um, just, and insecurity. And in insecurity. Because, yes, because, yeah. because in the Despair world... Being left it, alone. Yeah, but it's also in the world this person isn't accepted. They feel insecure. The world is a yeah. the world is a dangerous place and they need to negotiate it. Mm -hmm. So so you can potentially kind of overreact to that. And for the people that you care about, you become quite paranoid in terms of yeah. what their experiences might be. And you might hold on to them too hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and they might act out as a result of that. Um, so that's fantastic. And 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 he works himself up to the point where he then explodes as the Jew. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so what I would suggest, because it's quite a long section, mm -hmm. I, I would, I would suggest let's take it from that explosion of of, of the Jew. Okay. Uh, and let's be clear for the audience and for ourselves, the ducats are, are what when he talks about ducats. That's as his money. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. His, uh, uh, and he's having, he's making this comparison of my ducats and my daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's this great writing that they should both begin with D. That they, he kind of identifies both those things. Mm -hmm. Now, does that make him a bad person? I mean, I mean, isn't it awful that he's, you know, uh, comparing m money with his daughter? Is that the way he thinks, or what's going on? Do you think in that moment? Um, I mean, it's it's a different time as well. Uh, so you know, there's a a, a, a different relationship with 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 money there but i think um i think it's just the sense of everything being taken from him you know he's 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 lost everything and, and it's not just that his daughter has gone it's the sense of well she wouldn't do it that that a christian has come in and taken his daughter and taken his money it's not and I think, yeah and you have to remember that for him Money isn't about what he can buy. Money mm -hmm. is about status. Money is, a, money is about the well. only thing. Is about, what, sorry? Maybe, maybe safety as well. When, when you're oppressed, if you have money, it, it makes you, I suppose, it gives you some security from that oppression. Exactly. Whereas without exactly. it, you know, you're... Exactly. And he's worked all his life to, to, to acquire mm -hmm. this value. Um so, so it's not surprising that he would equate both the loss of his daughter and the loss of his money as a, as a complete stripping away of everything that gives his life meaning. Yes. In yeah, that moment. yeah. And so he starts to obsess around those two things. Um, so so when, when we do it again, I mean, that's wonderful the way you found that howl at the beginning. And Shakespeare writes, oh... Yes, and, yeah. and the O's can be done in whatever way we want. And so it's great to just explore that sound. But then let's make sure that he's that rather than just doing emotional text, that he's actually making trying to make sense in the moment of okay. the outrage that he's experiencing. OK. And remember, there's a very, very important moment where his head lands on the bond and how he's going to shift and twist the idea of the bond. Because obviously he doesn't know whether it's Antonio's fault. But in that moment, all Christians are kind of. Uh, collapsed into one thing aren't they yes yeah and, that, uh, uh, and and there might be it might not just be about anger it might be about a kind of a kind of thrill in that moment okay. kind of go, no you know yeah. what hang on a second yeah yeah okay. so so let's just so, so so let's just find that movement in that bit there um and then give yourself time to come out of it um as the as the storyteller because the storyteller then makes the connection with with his own grandfather. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what goes on. Um, and just because, because when, when you talk to us afterwards, you like this sort of stuff, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, there was a slight, you were slightly blaming us. Okay. You were slightly, uh, which is fine. I think you could you could do it like that. But why don't we explore the more in innocent version of it, which is like, guys, is this what you like? But right. it is, isn't okay. it? Mm -hmm. uh, because cause, cause you're not actually 
trying to punish anyone. You're trying to make sense of something. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I've said quite a lot there. But yeah, but, but but but, but yeah. let's let 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 if you can, um, let let's let's start that explosion that the, the, the Jews, the Shylock's agony. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'll stop. We'll stop and stop. Okay. <clears throat> my daughter. Oh my ducats. Oh my daughter. Fled with a Christian. Oh, oh my Christian ducats. Justice. The Lord. Okay. Tremendous load. Sorry. Sorry. It's really. I. I. I hate to stop you when you're doing no, so brilliantly. No, no, that's just... uh, so 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 there's this, these fantastic thoughts that are land, landing here. He goes mm-hmm. it goes um, uh, fled with a Christian. Yeah. So 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 that's a and now and now what are they? Because of that, they're now Christian ducats. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and then what's the next thing that he says after that? Justice. So the justice Lord. is is a new idea. You, so, you, 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 you see what I mean? So justice is kind of linking it back into that the bond. Well, yeah, but remember, he hasn't yet had that I- no, idea. No, has yeah. he? So, yeah. so he's, that's just the idea of I need some justice. I'm I'm hunting for justice. Where do I find this justice? Okay. Ah, yeah. I can find it there. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so I, I I know the the instinct is to is to just ride that emotion. But actually, yeah. do try and make sense of it, and it might mean that you have to pull things back a little bit in terms of the, okay. the noise of it. And yeah. also remember, in the context of where we are now, and we're zooming, like let's imagine that your that your audience is is the other side of a zoom. So if you're talking to us, it, 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 the ah can be there for the world for yourself, but then when you're talking to us, you can bring it down here if you want. Yes, yeah? Yeah. and make sense yeah. of it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Can we go maybe just a, a run in? Just a run in, yeah. We'll get exactly. to that. Of course yeah. You can. Yeah. Um, okay. To get the heartbeat up of the character, because yeah. obviously he's, he's working yeah. for the club, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. All you can hear is the beating of your own heart and that slight feeling of sickness. And you want to say, please don't leave. But she's already made up your mind. And you say, but I've made a home for us. And she says, I know. And you say, yeah, I-, I am jealous. I don't want you seeing him because you might fall in love and leave me. And I don't want to be left alone. And you start repeating her name again and again and again. And you're upset. And you know, it's like normal to get upset when your girlfriend leaves you for another guy. And you get angry and you look around and people are like laughing. My daughter! Oh! My ducats! Oh, my daughter! Fled with a Christian! Oh, my Christian ducats! Justice! The Lord! My ducats and my daughter! All the Venice boys follow him, crying his stones, his daughter and his ducats. The Venice boys are mocking him. There he is, his old hook nose, his daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin. OK, him. tremendous. Lloyd, well done. Well done. I saw all the details there. Now, now that was wonderfully found. All those thoughts were, 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 were brilliantly found. The Christian ducats, uh, the justice. I want justice. I want justice. Remember, you can you can talk to us here. Um, or, or there, sorry. Talk to us here. Um, the intent, the intensity. Now, 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 why don't you give us a little bit more time and help us suddenly become aware of all the people look looking at you, the Venice boys? Because, 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 what, what, you, what the storyteller does in this bit is he goes from being inside Shylock to then being inside the oppressors. So it's weird, isn't it? And it's extraordinary. How, how clearly he goes to Shylock, oh, my God, oh, my God, I want justice, I want justice. And then he's like, all right, mate, I, I, you know, and he's, he's, yeah, you're, he's you're yeah. suddenly the oppressors. So, so give it, make sure that that, that is, is clearly found, as it were. Um, and if it takes a little bit of time to get there or if we need to just take a little breath 
Um, but I really enjoy the voice that that they that they use and their and their tone and their different kind of heartbeat. Okay. And again, when you step out of that into uh, back into the into the sun, uh, sorry, back into you. Storyteller. Try, trying the storyteller, then trying to make sense of it all. Uh, so, yeah, uh, where should we go from? We can go from that same, around the same place. Okay, tremendous. All you can hear is the beating of your own heart and the slight feeling of sickness. And you want to say, please don't leave. But she's already made up her mind. And you say, but I've made a home for us. And she says, I know. And, and you say, yeah, I am jealous. I don't want you seeing him because you might fall in love and leave me. And I don't want to be left alone. And you start repeating her name again and again and again. And you're upset. And you know, it's like normal to get upset when your girlfriend leaves you for another guy and you get angry and you look around and people are like laughing. My daughter! Oh, my ducats! Oh, my daughter fled with a Christian! Oh, my Christian ducats! Justice. The Lord! My ducats and my daughter! And all the Venice boys follow him. Crying his stones, his daughter and his ducats. All the Venice boys are mocking him. There he is. There's old Hook Nose. His daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin flint. Look at him now. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. And Mussolini knew in Venice 1942. Okay, okay. brilliant. Well wow. done. Oh, wow. That's quite frightening, isn't it? To suddenly pass yeah, forward yeah. to them. I think you need a bit of time, though, don't you, to come out of them to the go on. Go on. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Because, because you've got the aggression of, of, of the mob around Sherlock, as it were. Yeah, uh, and if you, if you, the go on happens too quickly, it's almost like you're also making us shy like as well. Like you know, go on. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think you just need to kind of become aware of us again and kind of go. Well, it's okay. You can enjoy this. Okay. What's yeah. weird. And, and and all the people that he chooses to talk about, Dickens. Mm-hmm. Uh, who are the other the guys? Dickens, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, uh, Hitler. Hitler and Mussolini. Mussolini. So, so all of these are examples of Jewish oppression, mm-hmm. yeah, or, or, or figures that, that that have been problematic. So Dickens created Fagin, mm-hmm. uh, who is a very very problematic character, entertaining, but also quite grotesque and quite and 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 quite dark and uh, maybe not the 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 most um, humane portrait of a race, as it were. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shakespeare in this, and then obviously the you know the the, the awfulness of, of Hitler's relationship to the to the Jews and the final solution, and then he goes to Mussolini, because Mussolini is his personal example. Mm. I think that's the way you you, you walk the, the the stones as it were to your own story. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise you could stop at Hitler, couldn't you? But the reason why you don't is because actually your story or your grandfather's story isn't Hitler; it's Mussolini. Yeah. Same, same, same sort of times, very similar context, but your context is specifically the uh, uh, shop front being smashed, I like on Crystal Nut, but in 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 Italy, Mussolini's mm-hmm. fascism. Mm-hmm. Okay, brilliant. Um, so c- can we go from where, where you come out of, uh, maybe it's the final few bits of um, Shylock, and just really yeah. en- enjoy these transitions between the storytelling beats. Okay, yeah. Thank you. My daughter! Oh, my ducats! Oh, my daughter! Fled with a Christian! Oh, my Christian ducats! Justice. The Lord. 
my ducats and my daughter. Okay, hang on. Well, I'm going to stop you there because yeah. at, the, at the moment where you've gone to, understandably, is aggression. Yeah? What if you play vulnerability in this moment? What if you play in the moment of his pain and his anxiety? Because actually, he, we can get here later. Yeah, yeah. Maybe at this moment here, why don't you try playing somebody help? The, the, the justice is... Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you know, this is, this is terrible. In the moment, let's just imagine, because he's just in in the grip of his of his trauma, yeah, that uh, yeah. somebody will come to his, his aid in this moment, yeah. and then and, and then what's the response? We have the people around him mocking, laughing at him, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. My daughter, oh my ducats, oh my daughter, Fred with a Christian. Oh, my Christian ducats! Justice! The Lord! My daughter and my ducats! All the Venice boys follow him, crying his stones, his daughter and his ducats. All the Venice boys are mocking him. There he is. There's old hook nose. His daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin flint. Look at him now. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. And Mussolini knew in Venice, 1942. All the windows smashed in my granddad's shop. That's all he was. My grandfather, a shopkeeper. All the windows smashed. And there was a crowd, a mob. And they watched like the Venice boys watched Shylock, distraught and alone. Like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the bits of glass as they watched. Lloyd, Lloyd. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Brilliant. Um, really clear. Really clear. And I think a much more interesting place to leave Shy- Shylock vulnerable and asking for help and it helps the transition into the venice boys as well exactly because because again maybe we're imagining that the venice boys will be sympathetic in this instance Mm -hmm. and actually what they're doing is they're mocking and and much worse than that yeah Um, i I wonder whether you know as you as you step across shakespeare fagin uh Mm -hmm. sorry sorry uh um Hitler and then Mussolini then I think just give yourself a chance to think it think things through so when was it 42 it was uh Venice it, he was a shopkeeper and, and make those connections that just like um Shylock my grandfather was surrounded in exactly the same way as Shylock was yeah I, 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 and rather than telling us discover it with us Okay. So you see, see, so if you're discovering it with us, you just need to give yourself time to let those things detonate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, so shall, shall we pick it up from um, just after Shylock's speech? So you're you're going into the Venice the, the, the Venice boys. Yeah. Yeah. All the Venice boys follow him, crying his stones, his daughter and his ducats. All the Venice boys are mocking him. There he is. Old hook nose, his daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin flint. Look at him now. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knew. Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew in Venice, 1942. All the windows smashed in my granddad's shop. I'm so sorry, Lloyd. Uh, can, 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 can I suppose? Because yeah. just cause I, I'm not quite hearing the discovery. So okay. So 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 it's, it's like you're kind of going. Oh, with each of the. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you, okay, you, yeah, you, yeah, you start with you. this is what Shakespeare knew. Oh yeah, and so did Dickens. Yeah. Okay. And so did Hitler. Yeah. And so did Mussolini. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, so, you, do you, do you know what I mean? You're discovering it with us. Yeah. Yeah. At that moment. 
Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Let's just try that one, one more time. Please. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All the Venice boys follow him, crying his stones, his daughter and his ducats. All the Venice boys are mocking him. There he is, old hook nose. His daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin flint. Look at him now. Well, go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew. In Venice, 1942, all the windows smashed in my granddad's shop. That's all he was, my grandfather, a shopkeeper. All the windows smashed. And there was a crowd, a mob, and they watched like the Venice boys watched Shylock distraught and alone, like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the bits of glass as they watched like you're watching me now. Well, let him look to his bond. Let him look to his bond. Tremendous, Lloyd, tremendous. That's a lot better. Yeah, I can feel those beats. Yeah, yeah. And when you're discovering it all, or, or all mm-hmm. and you're vulnerable, aren't you? You're talking about yeah. granddad picking up the glass and like everybody's looking at him. Yeah. Like the audience out there, you're imagining, are looking at you. Now, if you're vulnerable in that moment, then maybe like Shylock, and I go, well, I have a revenge. I, 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 I have a card I can play. The bar. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. Now, the thing is, we don't know yet. It, the word becomes so important. It becomes like a badge, a, a kind of... Um, a symbol and I think I think you, you can discover even he's going I think when he says at the beginning let him look to his bond I'm mm-hmm. not sure he knows exactly what he's going to do with it but he knows that he has some kind of hope some power and then he can develop it mm-hmm. okay um, yeah but it, it comes from a place of vulnerability because he, he, even you when you're talking about your granddad and imagining your granddad being there surrounded by people maybe who didn't break the glass but are do, who are doing nothing to help to help him or yeah. to help him lift anything Mm -hmm. In that place of vulnerability, when he's looking at all of these people, maybe he's got to, he's got to detach himself. Or maybe you can imagine yourself Mm -hmm. detaching yourself and kind of going, if I had a way to make a point here, I would, I would take it. And then I think that, I think the next thought is because I'm just a human being. Yeah. And yet you're looking at me and treating me like I'm in some way completely differently formed mm-hmm. like my pain isn't isn't w- w- worth any value to you yeah like i'm some, some kind of subhuman mm. and you can then make really talk it through with us i mean you can be very reasonable he has he has every reason in the world to, to motivate him to go where he goes yeah okay um Should we pick it up from somewhere like, um, we'll go on then. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew. Okay, okay, so, so, so Lothar, I'm going to talk about one more time there. Yeah. You, you, you get very serious with Hitler. Yes. Which, yeah, which, is, a, which, which a, is appropriate. Yeah. But actually what you're talking about is, oh, I get it. I get how even Hitler, I get how Hitler could, so, yeah, could turn yeah. on his own people, you know, you know, could, could, mm-hmm. could excite the people mm-hmm. with, with okay. the, you, you, you know, um, the awfulness is, is is assumed, but you're talking about something here, which yeah. is like, oh, he makes people forget about the consequences because he gets them excited. He gets yeah. them electrified. He, he entertains them. OK. Yeah, because I'm going straight to the oh, isn't it's like this yeah, really exactly. guy. Let me play the uh, exactly. because you can't. 
mention his name in society without it carrying that weight. That's but I'm right. but I'm playing the weight rather than the Actually, understanding of oh this, this is, is right. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Okay. One more time, please. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew. Venice 1942. All the windows in my granddad's shop smashed. That's all he was. My grandfather, a shopkeeper. All the windows smashed. And there was a crowd, a, a mob. And they watched like the Venice boys watched Shylock distraught and alone. Like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the pieces of glass as they watched. Like you're watching me now. Well... Let him look to his bond. Let him look to his bond. He hath disgraced me and laughed at my losses. And what's his reason? I am a Jew. Okay, tremendous, tremendous. Now we're getting into this wonderful purple passage here, this great mm -hmm. speech. Um, but and I always say this, and we always talk about this, don't don't, don't we, Lloyd? Which mm. is he he doesn't know that he's gonna, he's about to to say some some of some of the most glorious things yeah. that have yes. ever been written that yeah. have come out of the human imagination. Uh, so so the pressure of the questions is very important, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the the setting up at the beginning, the, the, those initial ideas. So 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 make sure that you give them the space and and discover them. So how does it begin? Yeah. Okay. He, um, he had disgraced he me. Had disgraced me and laughed at my losses. And laughed at my losses. And why? And why has he done that? Reason? You see, so, so 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 you need to connect that because that's so he's been awful to me. Yeah, he's yeah. laughed at me. He's humiliated me. Yeah. And why? Just so, because. Uh, I, so, yeah. so 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 just and uh, maybe genuinely ask us, why would he do that? Is it just because I'm a Jew? Mm -hmm. But doesn't a Jew have, etc.? Do you see, do you see what yes. I mean? Yeah, I do. So, so, so yeah. rather than making it this rhetorical flourish, like you've already got the concept, uh, the conclusion. Yeah. Genuinely ask in that moment. That he has the humanity in that moment to kind of go, I feel vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I am hurting here. Why does this person who has, yes, mocked me in the past, um, why doesn't he reach out to me now? Why do, aren't these people who are surrounding me? If I'm in genuine pain, it's one thing to, to, to chant things from a stand in a football field. Mm -hmm. But if, if I was on the on the floor and you walked past me and I was in tears or I was, I was bleeding, would you not extend a hand? Yeah. You know, and, and I think it's it's that extraordinary thing that he's kind of going, what what is it that makes you not reach out to me? Mm-hmm. Is it yeah. purely because I, I I look different to you, but I'm, am I not a human being, etc.? Do you see, do you see yeah. what I mean? So so yeah. so dis discover that uh, as you as you're going through it. I think anything come out of um, this this place of genuine vulnerability. Okay. All right. Once again, please don't. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew in Venice 1942. All the windows in my granddad's shop smashed. That's all he was, my grandfather. A shopkeeper. All the windows smashed. And there was a crowd, a mob, and they watched. Like the Venice boys watched Shylock, distraught and alone. Like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the bits of glass as they watched. Like you're watching me now. Well, let him look to his bond. Let him look to his bond. He hath disgraced me. 
and laughed at my losses. And what is his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, heart by the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not have revenge? An eye for an eye and all that. Okay, tremendous, Lord. So, so, so. Now, now, I think the the, the other thing that we can find in those questions mm-hmm. is we can use the silence the, that, the, no, the, one's the, that us. no one's answering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, and 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 uh, and so, so, you, so it starts off with this wonderful thing about you know, and all because I'm a Jew. Mm. Silence. Is anybody going to say anything? Imagine you're on a Zoom call with lots of other heads <laughs> yeah. on the call. Yeah. Uh, and and then you ask these these questions at the beginning. Well, isn't it? But doesn't a Jew have eyes, hands? Blah blah blah. You go through all of that, right? Um, as a Christian, silent. And now I think. He's, he's going somewhere else. Yeah, see, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. N- n- now, I, now I think it's, it's obvious that we all bleed, but you're making the point. He's, he's beginning to find his, his focus, isn't he? Yeah. On, on what is to come next. Yeah. And, and the thing is, so, so, so it's, a, it's about, I think he's genuinely asking for justice at the beginning. Mm-hmm. But during the speech, he's realizing that there's only silence that he will be met with. Mm-hmm. So his only way to 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 deal with the world is through revenge. Mm-hmm. Is 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 through manipulating the laws of the country. He has the bond. Yeah, it was yeah. A jokey bond, but he can try and interpret it in the way that satisfies his revenge, his appetite. He knows it's not right. He knows it's morally kind of d- difficult and so a, a, a cruel thing to do. Mm-hmm. But he's explaining. It's the only way he can feel like he can get some kind of justice in this world. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so 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 let's let's just just before that, let's just go just before that speech, um, and let's let that let's 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 deal with the silence of of the audience out there in the virtual world. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there was a crowd, a mob. And they watched, like the Venice boys watched Shylock, distraught and alone. Like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the bits of glass as they watched. Like you're watching me now. Well, let him look to his bond. Let him look to his bond. He hath disgraced me and laughed at my losses. And what is his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew hands? Hath not a Jew eyes? Organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food, hurt by the same weapons. Well, what, uh, Lord, sorry. Mm. Well, what, why don't you use that the, the paralinguistic stuff that we do? You know, when we we try and pressure a response. So if we're going to go, hath not a Jew eyes? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Hath not a Jew? You see, we you, we can do it with sounds, can't we? As okay. well to just yeah. help you try and pressure the world to respond to you or to uh, agree with you in some way. Okay. Because isn't yeah. isn't it obvious? 
Yeah, so just, yeah. just pressure that moment as much as you can. Okay. He hath disgraced me and laughed at my losses. And what is his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Huh? Hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Ha! Huh? Fed with the same food, heart with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means. Warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, Shall we not have revenge? Great. Great, 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 great. So, so um, well done, Lloyd. Really well, well, well done. There, there, there's a moment there where, where, where you really um, were incensed, uh, incensed by the lack of response. Yes, from, yeah, from, from, from yeah. Us. So, if you prick us, so, so you, you've already got the idea, haven't you, of revenge? Mm-hmm. So, so just think about how you're going to build into that. So, all right then, okay, everyone out okay. there in the world, if you prick us, do we not bleed? If you uh, tickle us, do we not laugh? Yeah, yeah. And cause ultimately, underneath there is this one thing, and if you wrong us. Shall we not then? Yeah. And, and this this is where we're getting into the, the rhetorical questions now, isn't it? I, I don't care about your answer. I, 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 your, your chance to answer has gone. Exactly. This is, yeah. yeah. Let, let me make a point now. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think I think it's building to that point. Yeah. The point of the point of the eye for, the, for an eye. Mm-hmm. Let, 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 and he says it a bit later on brilliantly that that. The Christian example has provided me with the way I deal with the world. You have been, um, you have dehumanized me. You brutalized me. Uh, Lloyd, fantastic. Shall we just do the whole section once now? Okay. Uh, give yeah. yourself that time to to discover things. When you come at the end to uh, the, the situation with your grandfather, with all the the, the crowd, Mm-hmm. They, were, they were a mob. They were a mm-hmm. mob, just like you are. So, so you can be dis- still be discovering that stuff. Okay. As you're going through it. Okay. So, so don't try and play this too fast. Get, uh, uh, of course, at the beginning because we're, we're we're starting at a point of high intensity. Get yeah. the heart rate up. Yeah. Um, but I'll I'll hand over to you. So let's let let's do it all the way through to to revenge at the end. Forget the Jewish bit. You can understand. You might know already what it's like to be rejected or chucked when someone you really like says nice knowing you, but I found someone nicer. It hurts and you feel angry and hurt and and scared and lonely and you go for a walk and you start walking quicker and you see people around you who aren't hurting and you can't hear them. All you can hear is the beating of your own heart and, and that slight feeling of sickness And you want to say, please don't leave. But she's already made her mind up. And you say, but I've made a home for us. And she says, I know. And you say, yeah, I am jealous. I don't want you seeing him because you might fall in love and leave me. And I don't want to be left alone. And you start repeating her name again and again and again. And you're upset. And you know it's like normal to get upset when your girlfriend leaves you for another guy. And you get angry. And you look around and you see people are like laughing. My daughter! Oh, my ducats! How oh, my daughter fled with a Christian! How oh, my Christian ducats! 
justice. The Lord, my docket and my daughter. All the Venice boys following, crying his stones, his daughter and his dockets. All the Venice boys are mocking him. There he is. There's old hook nose. His daughter gone with all his jewels. There he is. There's that arrogant skin flint. Look at him now. Go on. This is what you want to see. This is what you really get a kick out of. You see, Shakespeare knows what gets people going. Dickens knew with his Fagin. Hitler knew. Mussolini knew. In Venice, 1942. All the windows in my granddad's shop smashed. That's all he was, my grandfather. It's a shopkeeper. All the windows smashed. And there was a crowd, a mob. And they watched like the Venice boys watched Shylock distraught and alone, like they watched my grandfather trying to pick up the bits of glass as they watched, like you're watching me now. Well, let him look to his bond. Let him look to his bond. He hath disgraced me and laughed at my losses and what is his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food? Heart with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same summer and winter as a Christian is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not have revenge? Well done, well done. Very upsetting, isn't it? It's extraordinary. Nice moving through the the, the many different colours and shades of of that text. Yeah. I I mean, I don't know what it's like to watch it, but as an actor, it's it's, (laughs) it's incredibly rewarding to, to play through it all. Well, I mean, as, as an audience, it's 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 extraordinary to to see somebody discovering stuff, to be in the middle of it's it's the journey of the mind mm-hmm. dealing with the contradictions in the world. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's that's kind of the great story of great art, is is isn't it? Is is when we're confronted by difference, which is both yes. exciting and terrifying, and the unknown is, is the experience of what it is to be a human being. Mm-hmm. Um, and and if we see an actor who isn't just being impressive, but is genuinely being vulnerable and discovering big truths, yeah. awful, awful truths, uh, we go on that journey with them. And it's, yeah. it's, 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 it, it's safe because it's your goes through it, we're not. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but it's, yeah. it's, it's very moving and it's, it's um, very important, I think, particularly now for us, us to have the opportunity to 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 ask these questions and to try out some some of these answers as it were mm-hmm. and it and it does feel remarkably relevant to it, do, it the, does the time where we're, yeah. we're in the grip of now lloyd thank you so much thank for you joining us to today thank you everyone at, at home wherever you are uh we're a box clever theater company uh we were performing a piece from the merchant which i hope we can share with you once once we're allowed to share spaces again Um, Thank you and uh, stay safe.